Hello everyone and this is the third video. I have created already two of the videos. This was the first one. This is the second one. And as I had told, there will be drawing conversion. Isometric diagrams will be converting it to the orthograph views. The front view, top view and side views in this series of videos. So this is the third video in the series. Let us proceed by drawing this particular object. So before actually drawing, let me show you the 3D model of this particular software which I have modeled in uh, Onshape. Onshape is a pretty handy software that allows us to watch the 3D objects not just on the browser without having to install any of the software but also on our mobiles using the app which is made available by Onshape team. So now this is how the object appears. So you can see the asymmetric diagram of this object is the same. I have used the same dimensions to model this particular diagram and you can see how it appears in the front view. So when you see it in the front view, this is how it appears. So this particular face here, this face here, it's not really visible, fine. So it's going to be hidden. It just appears like a line in the front view. So these are some of the set of lines and that we should be careful to just hide them when we are drawing the orthographic views. So some faces, so these faces, all these faces, they are not only visible. This is a side face which again will appear just like a straight line. This total face is just only appear like a line. So that's some of the things that we need to keep, take care of. So without wasting much time, let us proceed to draw the orthographic views of this particular object. So we will start with the front view. So I'll just have to draw an XY line. So I'll just take it take D and a height of 5 and we'll see it. X, Y. Fine. So this is the XY line. Now I have to draw the front view. So I'll just start at some particular point. So I'll just okay, so I'll just start at some particular point. Height that is 65 and then horizontal. So total total distance here in the horizontal direction has been given as 80 and then back and then close. So X Y line we might really want to extend it a little further. Fine. So this is the front view. Fine. So you can see here in the 3D model the front view appears like this. So I have created a rectangle and I have to cut this thing out. So for this I have to use these measurements. So first of all I have to take an offset of 20. So for 20 command is O enter 20 enter from this side in this direction and from this side in this direction. So now I've got this top corner over here. And using this top corner now I have to proceed drawing. So next I will take this height as 20. So offset 20 height from the top line and it height below. And then again an offset of 5. So offset again O enter 5 enter and this line below. Next I have to cut this object over here. So I'll just take a line from the midpoint straight up and I'll then I'll then take offset of this by 5 on both the sides. So offset go into 5 enter on both the sides. I'll take this offset and then I'll trim off TR double enter. I'll trim off whatever sides I don't need these sides. And then I'll just move this line here instead of deleting it and having to create it again I'll just move those lines over here and these two lines are of no use to me I'll just remove them and trim off this line as well this is just the access line so if you want to retain the access line you can just make it a little larger and apply the different uh, line style to it or you can just remove it altogether this top lines have trimmed and now I have to create this one this 15 so offset O enter 15 I have already got a line over here just that same line offset by 15 up now I have a face here and a face here so I'll have to take offset of 20 I mean our total distance being 20 I have to take offset of half of that so O enter half of that that is 10 on both sides I have to take the offset and using these lines I'll just have to trim it so select the lines TR single enter is going to be enough so this will allow me to have only the selected objects as the trimming objects so having created the front view I'll just apply the match properties solid lines so all these lines are the solids let us select all of them 
and then one by one I'll remove whichever side is not the solid line so this line is the axis line here okay so the remaining all lines are visible so I don't have to make any more changes next I'll go for the top view so top view how is it going to be visible in the top view so let us just go back to our diagram here so this is the object and when you see it in the top view this is how it's going to appear so many of the faces again they are not going to be visible so we are careful not to draw them so I'll just take a line here starting at this point at some convenient distance this distance has not been mentioned this is the distance from VP so you can draw it whatever we want I'm using a tracking option here and connecting it back so this is the starting line the back side line of my top view now from here the distance has been given as 50 so I'll take offset or enter 50 enter since I already had the line selected I'll just take it I mean I, I will just get it automatically then I'll just have to draw these two lines and then okay so this 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 width so this width I have to take it as offset 15 distance from here the bottom direction and then okay so then I have to click here this one so for that I'll just, I'll just do one thing I'll just take projection of this here over here and I'll take 25 offset so O enter 25 enter offset of this line here and then I'll just trim it off so ER double enter remove these two lines these lines and you can just retain these projection lines in case you want to just show that they are all properly aligned so go for match properties solid apply solid to all this fine so this edge here you can see there is no edge over here so we have just have to trim it so tr double enter again it off and now go for these lines the these edges so for those edges i'll just take offset through so o enter p enter and i'll take offset of this passing through this so you can see wherever i'm moving it is going to come uh, passing through that so i'll just click at this point next so that will ensure that i get an offset of this line passing through this point and i'll just trim it off tr double enter and then i'll uh, i'm going to continue taking this as offset through o enter t enter so this point is over next is this point both these points are going to appear as a single line then this one then this one over here so that's it that is the completed top view of our diagram next we just have to go for the side view so for the side view I'll just have to create a vertical line so take it at a convenient distance and then take projections of from this and of course these measurements we have to transfer it to the side view so to do that we'll take a circle from the intersection point as center and yeah these so these parts will just trim it off and then take offset o enter t enter offset through offset through offset through all these points i'm going to take of course if this line is not sufficient you can always extend it backwards so now i can start drawing the side view the side view to draw the side view actually this side view is on the wrong side i have to draw this side view this side from this side so what I'll do is I'll just take a mirror of this all, mirror of this all on this side, and I'll just erase yes. Okay, so all these I want it. So I'll just move them aside, this side, just move them aside. Okay, why? Why actually has got to be on this side? Huh? And the X line, it's going to extend it to this here right just extend it this side these lines i'm actually going to need it on the other side right? so you have to actually watch it in the beginning itself so the view that i'm watching it from is on from the right side so right side view is going to appear on the left side so this i have to watch it in the beginning itself <coughs> fine so anyway so let's proceed to draw this i'm going to use the tracking this time then the width is here also I'll just use tracking once again and uh, just join this here and this here again this is 15 so I'll take another line from here 15 right then join here I'll trim it off okay so this gel shape is going to appear I have to another I have to draw another line over here at the bottom 
lines to ensure the visible, the solid lines are going to appear correctly. Now there are there are a number of hidden edges that will appear. So one hidden edge is from this side over here. So offset through, and from this point over here, I have to get the hidden edge. So hidden edge. So match the properties of hidden edge over here. Next, we are going to get uh, two more hidden lines over here. So if you want to see that in this view, in this particular view, so you can see here this edge here and this edge here, they are not going to be visible in the side view. So when I click it away, only this is the face that you want to see. You are not going to see these two edges. So those two edges, I have to show them as hidden edges. For that, I am just going to take O enter, T enter, offset through this line and through this point and through this point but as I have told these two lines are not going to be visible so I have to change them to hidden edges so take the hidden edges apply this so although you can see here that the hidden edge is not visible properly when you go to the layout space those are going to appear properly so even in this case if you, if you don't want them to be so light I mean so, uh, so less number of dashes you can always change the line type scale LTS is the command line type scale and you can go on to reduce it further. So this will ensure that you get more number of dashes here and the hidden edges are going to appear properly. Fine. Of course you may have to apply the dimensioning and uh, after that you just finish. Okay so this is how you should draw all the dimensions. So we must ensure that each dimension that is given in our diagram is going to appear only once in our diagram. Right. So all these dimensions that they should not be repeated and we should not calculate some value like for example this is 20, this is 65, so I can't just calculate 65 minus 20 and mention some extra dimension over here. I have to mention the same dimensions that are appearing in the isometric diagram. So this is a, you know, a practice that will be helpful when you go for manufacturing because the designer will be providing with the important dimensions. The important dimensions are going to be provided, and you, your task will be to ensure that those dimensions which are mentioned in the drawing, they have to be exact. And hence, we should not create our own dimensions from the design work. We just have to draw them as it is. And finally, you can just go on to delete all these x y x y line, x one y one line, and other projection lines that we have drawn to make your diagram look much more relevant you can just add the front view top view and side view tags to this and uh, yeah that's it for this video and uh, hit the like button of course if you like our video and stay subscribed to our channel for all of our future updates